Okay, next up, current mood, medium. Glad I bought a medium in this. Is this adorable? Can you see that? It's a velvet. Look at the crushed velvet. High-waisted skirt, which has a little bit of a <laughs> suspicious white mark on the front. Uh, let's keep things G-rated. <laughs> The suspenders, the front part of the suspender anyway, is made from crushed velvet. Kind of a weird choice for me, I guess it matches the skirt, but it's the same thing as the other one I was telling you. It doesn't have any stretch, so it feels a little uncomfortable. Um, it's got these really cute suspender straps, clips, out of clasps, I don't know what you call them. Anyway, you can move them to wherever you want. The back is stretchy, I wish the front material would have been like that too. And that is adjustable, you can see I've got it as long as possible because I'm tall. And when it arrived I didn't think they were adjustable, I missed that because it was black and it was um, double through so it was half as long. And I'm, this, the suspenders were so high it didn't even cover my fanny. I love that word, is that an Australian colloquialism or is fanny used like throughout the world? It's wonderful. You need to cover your fanny ladies. So if you buy that skirt make sure you undo the suspenders. Hashtag cover the fanny. <laughs> Can we have a look at my new nails? Look at this. Aren't they fucking gorgeous? So I went with the same look. I found a new nail tech and I said, let's do what we did on the first week, but go with a kind of autumny red look and it's magical. And then we put this little jewel to me. It looks like a dragon's eye. Can you see that? Yeah, I'll do this. Can you see that finger? Hats make everything better. My hair is being a little unruly today, a little frizzy, maybe it's the humidity. Anyway, hat covers that up. This is by Killstar. It is my favorite hat. It is called the Eclipse Fedora hat, if you are wondering. Next item. Oh my god, look at that. Touch my makeup and dye. This is terrific. It is a makeup travel case. And why didn't I have this when I went to LA twice recently? It's gorgeous. And it's even got little sections for your brushes. Can you see those little elastic loops? I would probably put brushes up the top and then the few liquid lipsticks that I wanted to take overseas in there. I don't know if I'd be able to fit all my makeup in there, but it would be fun to try. I have to buy a second It's just a really nice way to travel with your makeup. And I wish I had this on my American traveling recently. I've got some exciting news to share with you. One of the things that's on my bucket list, and it's a pretty short list, is to go see Queen with Adam Lambert. Obviously, Freddie's dead, that's not going to happen. That would be stupid to have that on my bucket list. But I'm a massive fan of both Queen, Adam Lambert, and I got VIP tickets. They're coming in next year, 2020, in February. So I'm going, I'm so excited. Hopefully I get to use it beforehand, but this will definitely be used on that trip. Ooh. This next item could quite possibly be my most favorite item ever. It is so fucking cute. It is a velvet dress. It's got little underwire cups there. I think if you were bigger breasted, you might have issue with this. Obviously the cup size would get bigger as the dress gets bigger, but I bought a medium and I am a B cup size and that just worked perfectly. But what I love about this is the really open cut at the front. So you can wear it on the shoulders, but it's really cute too because it kind of just accidentally slips down. There are no zips to get into this. It's quite stretchy for crushed velvet and you just slip it over your head and it has long sleeve. It is perfect. If they still have this, I implore you to go and grab it. It is my favorite dress. My camera keeps overheating, so I have to stop, which is really annoying. It is time for some shoes. So these are also by Widow. And they had me at the bat buckle, like seriously. Oh. What I tend to look for in a shoe these days because I'm fucking lazy and I forgot to do that with this shoe was if there is a zipper on the side. Even if it's black and it's just like a fake zipper to easily get into it, I kind of need that in my life. I haven't been wearing these too much because I just, I can't deal with the buckles, the buckles and the zipper. So that's a little bit of a, a downside for me. I found that if I just undo the top two and the zipper, I can then get my foot into them. But I love that they had the pointy heel and the slight kind of platform. A lot of these types of shoes have rounded heels and that was extremely pointed. So that was one of the things that I loved about this. The little cape at the back is quite cute as well. One thing that kind of pissed me off with these shoes is that it's like all the holes haven't been punched properly. The boots were done up in the tightest hole, but when I came to undo it and put them in the hole that was suitable for me or comfortable for me, I struggle. I really fucking struggle. And when you're getting done, you're getting ready to go out, the last thing you want is to struggle with a pair of shoes. So I know it's an easy fix. I just need to take a knife and make that a little bigger, but that was a little annoying to me. I will forgive them because they've got super cool fucking buckles on them. They are true to size as well and they're really walkable. 
Next up is this awesome top with inverted crosses. Yeah! <laughs> In true mayhem style, black metal. Yeah! Have you guys seen that documentary? I encourage you to watch it if you haven't. It's called Lords of Chaos and I absolutely loved it. The acting in it was really good. It's a bit brutal and gory, so if you don't like that kind of thing, it's probably not a movie for you. But if you're into black metal, um, about as black as I get is like Cradle of Filth and they're probably like poppy black metal. But if you like the darker stuff or the truer stuff, the Scandinavian black metal, you will love that movie. Go and give it a watch. This was $7.50. I found it in the clearance section. I believe it's no longer there because I posted about it about a week ago and I had so many people saying, oh, I got it. And then all the comments changed, but I couldn't get it. $7.50, total bargain. It's just branded Dolls Kill, so it's online and it's got the little cuts for your thumb. I love sheer tops that have that and it's super stretchy. I got a medium in that and I'm super happy that I did. It's the perfect fit. I also think if you were larger breasted, that wouldn't work because it's like, the cross is quite little and it, it barely covered my nipples. Actually, in the photo that I'm going to put up and show you, I had to Photoshop out the side of my nipple because like, I didn't want Instagram to delete it and I, I don't really want my nipples out there. <laughs> if you do, that's fine. I think about doing it. I'm like, why can't it just... Why is it okay for men? But like, women's nipples are so sexual apparently. Blech. Anyway, that's another conversation. I hope you like that top. We're getting to the bottom of my basket thing. Fuck. This is a bit of a random purchase by a brand called Motel. I've never heard of them before. It is called the Zender Skirt and I wish I had have got a small one. I'm going to have to take this to a tailor to have taken in. I just really liked the curb link that they had there. I thought it sat really nice. It's kind of high-end fashion vibey, a little sailory, and I, I just fell in love. I thought that that would have been tight enough, but it seems that I need to just take it in a little bit. Otherwise, it kind of looks like a potato sack and that's not the look I was going for. So that's another one. I, when I get taken in, I can't wait to show you guys how it looks. For the purpose of this video, I will put it on and probably put a peg <laughs> behind as I usually do if things are too large for me, just so I can show you how it would look if it fit correctly. This next item I've actually worn a few times and I've photographed a few times, but I haven't liked it and I haven't released it. It's so 90s. The material, the print, everything about it is just like oozing 90s to me. Something that like Ace of Base would wear in a video clip. <laughs> it's kind of make, got me thinking like, why the fuck did I buy this again? I loved the dragon, I loved the red. I just need to rock it up a little bit more. I think I was pairing it with a skirt and it will probably look better with the vinyl tights or any kind of tights and a, a big leather jacket over, over it to give it that bit of edge. Again, it's all about styling. If I style something incorrectly, like pair it with different items, it's usually the way I've paired them is incorrect, not the item. So I will give this another try. I'll try to find the size. Okay, it's literally called the Red Dragon Tea, but it doesn't show me on my invoice if I bought a small or a medium and there's nothing on here. I would say AD is the brand, but it's super stretchy. You could get away with a small if you're normally a medium. Oh, I found the tag for that top. So it's called the Sinister Sass Long Sleeve Top. And you can see there, hopefully that the crosses are just placed in a way to cover the nipples. So if you're going out, you'd probably totally want to wear a bra because <laughs> you'll think they'll be covered and then you'll be like, hello. And you're like, oh my God, they were fucking out all night. And I didn't know, why didn't anyone tell me? You probably wondered why you got so many drinks bought for yourself that night, right? Mm -hmm, that's why your tips were out. <laughs> This is so pretty, I don't want to use this. This is a coffin journal by Killstar. It's fucking so cool. Yeah, I gotta start using it. I bought this for Von and I. We like little books like that that we write our lyrics in when we're songwriting. And I bought it for Von to put just in the bedside table. He gets lyrics at really weird times, usually at 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. He'll just wake up and he'll be like, I need a pen, I need a pen. So I usually put that in his bedside table for him. And he'll just like spew out all these awesome lyrics. I'm like, where does it come from? I wish I was like that with lyrics. I really have to think. I mean, I did contribute to As Angels Bleed lyrics, of course, but I need to definitely think about it a lot more. Where he would just be like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I fucking love your brain. I've just realized that throughout this entire video, I forgot to wear earrings. I guess it's not really that important because you can't see my ears. In here, my box of tricks, is some of the accessories that I've purchased. Their accessories are really decent. Like some of these things are like $6, $10. It's not going to break the bank in any way. Why I was disappointed with this, like it's so simple. I've wanted one like this for ages, but it's just so big, even on the smallest hole, which is there, it sat really loose on my neck. And I will show you, I had to make another hole and a whole nother inch in. For fuck's sake. To make it small enough for my neck, you can actually see the buckle from the side. It's not a deal breaker, I just... 
This is just for really large necks, so just get ready to have to punch yourself in your hole in that one. This one is really cool. I just found that it wants to spin around on itself all the fucking time and it always sits backwards. I wore it for one of my lipstick wear and test videos and didn't realize that it was like that the whole time. See what I mean? It's naturally just going backwards. Apart from that, it was way more practical with the sizing. Like I can use the smallest one and that sits really well. Wow. Next are these cool little claw rings. I just thought they would look cool in a photo to extend the already stiletto nail look that I have going on. Yeah, not really much I can say about that. Um, <laughs> they were in the clearance section and I just thought that would look cool for some kind of photo. This next ring is called the Stealth Bat Ring. I will put it on so you can see how it fits. I got a size 7 and I'm normally fine with a 7, but that is really tight. It's super fucking cute though. If it's a hot day, I can't wear it because I just swell up and it feels really uncomfortable. I believe that's from Alchemy Gothic. Again, everything will be listed below. I printed out everything to be super organized for you guys, but I didn't realize that it only printed out the name of the item and it didn't tell me the brand. So if I can't remember it with my little pea-sized brain, it hasn't really helped. This next item has a funny story to it because it's already been modified even though I haven't worn it yet. You're like, what? So if you go to buy this choker, it won't have the spikes on it. It will hopefully <laughs> have these little round studs, which I prefer. That's why I bought it. I thought it was really cute. Nice little simple choker. Anyway, it came with one of the studs missing. It had the back plate, but the, the front was missing. And I, I just emailed them and said, hey guys, can I get another one? The rivet's missing. And they're like, we'll give you a 30% credit. And I'm like, that's great. But I actually want to wear the necklace. Can you? Send me a rivet or something, or can you send me another one? Seeing this one is kind of damaged. And then they replied and said, oh, we'll just, we'll give you a credit. <laughs> I, I still said, guys, it's still on your website. Can I, I've ordered another order. Can you just pop in another one? Anyway, they just ended up refunding me. <sighs> I was a little bit annoying. So what I did is I took two of the rivets from my Black Friday handbag and I put them on there. It works. Sometimes you gotta think outside the box. These earrings are called the Night Flying Earrings. They were $10. And I am in love. The shape of the bat wing is really evil. Really loving them. They're super cute. Second last item was this choker. I would pair this with just like a rock and roll tee. I mentioned the Guns N' Roses one that I recently bought. I love layered necklaces. I'm always searching for a good quality one because they just all get tangled. And I've got three or four where they're really fine chains and they're just tangled and it's a fucking mess. And even if I take care of it when I hang them, it's just... A big nightmare. So I like that the chain is thick enough to not get tangled. The hardware is really good quality. I think this was like $8.99. Hopefully it's still on there. It sits really well and I like the thickness of the chain. It's not that cheap chrome plated alloy stuff. It feels heavy and it's incredibly shiny. The last thing I bought, which I haven't even taken out of the packet, so it's more like an unboxing, is the Dragon Lure Ear Wrap by Alchemy Gothic. I saw this, I was like, whoa, that's fucking cool. I need to put it in to see how it works, but it goes up over the ear and you wear part of it as an earring. I'm going to have to film that and show you how it looks, but I thought that was super cute. Oh, I can see one more item in the bottom of my basket. Bitch, witch, witch, bitch, whichever you want to be. These were super cute. Again, really cheap accessories. I have trouble with this type of earring closure because I find like I'm always putting the thing that goes through your ear around the hoop and it's not unless you get it right in that little bit and it goes click that they work. So I find them a little hard to get in, but once you've got it, they're fine. They're really light as well. I've got a few pairs from Killstar that have these massive pentagrams and they're just, they're actually too heavy for my ears. Finally, it's just some stockings just as little accessories to jazz up, you know, little items because I've bought a lot of mini skirts recently or dresses. So I got a completely sheer pair, Leg Avenue. You can't go wrong with Leg Avenue. They've been around forever. If you're going to like Hustler or any kind of sex shop or lingerie shop, you will find Leg Avenue everywhere. Their quality is fantastic. Fantastic. The only thing is I don't know if they cater for different sizes like they're always showing really thin people and they fit Myself, I would be a small but if you had larger thighs I'm not sure if brands cater to that if they don't they fucking should and this is another pair of Epic Nylon Thigh Tights from Lake Avenue Again, just $10. I just wanted some that weren't sheer and some that were 
Whew. Okay, so that was everything. Let me know what your favorite item was. Are you going to go and possibly purchase any of the items that I've shown you today? Comment down below. Let me know if you've liked this video. My channel went up over 2,000 subscribers last month, so that is pretty <laughs> fucking epic for me. So if you're brand new to my channel, a big hello. And if you've been around for a while, thank you for still being here and supporting my videos. Do you also shop from Dolls Kill? Are, are there some other places that you love to shop? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.